Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jari Views back with another video and today we're talking about some pretty cool hidden features of the new iOS 18. Now, as always, Apple doesn't show every new feature and change on their software updates. So there's a lot to discover with iOS 18. There are some pretty cool and some very useful features you need to know about. Now we're starting things off with Siri. Did you know that on iOS 18, you can actually use any specific phrase you want to launch Siri. You don't have to use the Siri word at all. And that's actually very easy to set up. All you have to do is head onto your settings app, go under the accessibility settings right here, and then make sure you find a vocal shortcuts. You enable vo vocal shortcuts right there and then tap on add action and then tap on continue. Right here, what you need to do is just scroll down here and find Siri. There it is. And then just choose a custom phrase here that you want to use. So any phrase that you want to use to invoke Siri, you just enter it right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just do it with iPhone, 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 iPhone. So this is how you set it up. You basically say the phrase three times and then it should work. So let's try it out. iPhone. And there it goes. As you can see, it does invoke Siri, which is pretty awesome. Now with iOS 18, we also have the new flashlight UI here. Another way to just adjust the U. Now with iOS 18, we have a totally new UI for the flashlight. Of course, you probably know you can swipe like this horizontally to just choose the focus of the flashlight. You can make it brighter or less brighter simply by swiping up or down. But what if you want to turn it off? Now, all you have to do to turn it off is just tap right there. So you can see right there on the flashlight. So there it is. You just tap on the flashlight and you turn it off. Now, the notes app on iOS 18 is actually amazing. Things like this are pretty fun. So you have a list maybe of groceries that you have to buy or something else. You can actually make a calculation right here. So what I can do in this note is just type here eggs. In this case, we have eggs and milk right there. So eggs plus milk. And it will actually calculate based on the list that we have right there. So we just enter equals and you can see it does recognize the prices that we have entered on the list right there. And it gives me right here the suggestion. I can just tap on 12 or I can tap on eggs plus milk equals 12, whichever one I want. So if I just don't want to add the words right there, I can just tap on the 12 right there. And we have the result underneath eggs and milk. Now with iOS 18, the notes app will gain also a few extra folders right here at the top. So if you just get out of your notes and you go to all of your folders, now you will have a dedicated section for your math notes. Not that these are the notes that you take from the calculator app. And then you will also have your call recordings here for all the call recordings that you have done through the phone app on iOS 18. Now on iOS 18, you can also colorize the text on notes. So if you just want to select the text, you want to make it maybe stand out a bit. You can go ahead and go right here, of course, to the edit mode and just go ahead and colorize that text. Of course, you can adjust everything here. You can format the text, but now you will have the ability here to choose between these five different colors and just add that color to any text that you have selected. Now with iOS 18, Apple has added the new control center. It's pretty cool. You can customize it. And now with 18.1, they are also bringing individual toggles here for your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and your VPN. You don't have to have the connectivity widget. You can just have them individually here. But still, you cannot completely turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth from here. They will just disconnect and not turn off. But I will show you guys a trick on how to do that. Head on to your shortcuts app, tap the plus button, and right here, search for Wi Fi. Once you find it, tap on set Wi Fi, where it says turn, you tap right there and choose toggle, and then click done. Now you're good to go. Now go ahead and go to your control center, tap the plus button right here, and then tap on add control. And let's go ahead and find the shortcuts here. So there we have shortcuts, we tap on it. 
and go ahead and just choose the one we created. So there it is, set Wi-Fi. And now this one will allow us to actually completely turn off the Wi-Fi connection. So it basically turns off Wi-Fi from here. As you can see, it's now completely turned off. And of course, we can also turn it on as well. Now I can do the same for Bluetooth as well. Now with iOS 18, now you will be able to add reminders directly from your calendar app. So on calendar, all you have to do is just tap the plus button. And right here, you basically add an event previous of iOS 18, you could just add an event, but now you will have the option to switch to reminder and you will have all the reminder features right here. The title, the notes, the date and time, the repeat, the list, where you want to add it, every detail is right here. So you can now have a full reminder directly on the calendar app. Now, what's really cool with reminders on iOS 18 is that now Apple has added a new recently deleted folder for your reminder. So whenever you delete a reminder, maybe you do that by accident, you can just go to the recently deleted right here and you will be able to completely delete them from here or move them back to your lists of reminders. Now with iOS 18, whenever you're playing a game on your iPhone, you will see game mode turn on automatically. It is right there. Now game mode will just turn off some background activity on your iPhone so that your iPhone performs better. But you can go to your control center, you will see it right here. You can tap right there and this is the way you switch off game mode. Now here, if you have a newer device, you probably don't need this. It, Maybe if you have an older device and you're playing like a heavy game, maybe you need it. But in this case, when you're just playing like a casual game on a newer device, you don't need game mode. And in my experience, it has been interrupting a bit with the playback. Whenever I have something playing in the background on my device and I have game mode turned on, it actually interrupts a bit. So if you want to turn it off, that's the way to do it. On your control center, you can have this really nice looking widget for your music. So the small one, it's actually amazing. I think it's the best one for the music. Now it actually offers quite a different, a few different sizes. So for music, you can go from the smallest one, which is basically this, this square one right here. You can go up to the biggest where you can have a full page, but this one right here, just stretch it horizontally. You will get probably the best looking widget for music on iOS 18. Now on iOS 18, Apple has done a great job with keyboards. So whether you use two different languages, you can now have two different keyboards without having to switch with basically with two different languages. Or if you're translating something, you can see right here, I'm typing on English, but if I switch to Chinese right here, you can see it does switch the keyboard automatically and you don't have to add the keyboard. It will be done automatically. So that's pretty useful. On the notes app with iOS 18, you can now attach pretty much anything you want. So you tap on the attachment right there. And besides scanning documents or text, you can now attach a file from your file apps, or you can go ahead and record an audio. Now, what's really cool is that if you record an audio right here, what it does is that it will actually show you also the transcription and you can see it right here, but it will also save the transcription on the notes app. So if we tap on done right there, you can see that we have the new recording and then we have the transcription right here. And whenever you need it, you can go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. On iOS 18, you know that you can tint the icons on the home screen. Well, if you do that, you can do that simply by tapping that button right there. Now, if you change the tint and you wanna go back to that previous one, all you have to do is just tap on that button again. So the tint will be automatic based on how iOS will detect the wallpaper. But anytime you tap on that tinted button, it will reset the tint like that. On the Photos app on iOS 18, you will have here recent days. It will show you basically some albums with the recent photos from today and yesterday and things like that. Now what you can do, you can 3D touch on that album and tap on share photos. So if you just wanna share all the photos from today, you can do that as easy as that. Also right here, you will have your albums. Now what you can do with your albums on iOS 18 and the new photos app is that you can now actually pin the album. So you can just 3D touch on an album and you can pin it like that. 
So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more videos. And I will see you on the next one.